just walked into my room and this is the hallway. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at this. Checking for crazies, kicking the bed as well. Check under everything you can in your hotel rooms. Check, 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 check. Oh, the Book of Mormon's in here, interesting. Welcome to the vlog, by the way. Not gonna lie to you, I pretty much just crashed last night. Um, I was tired. I wasn't even that tired. I was just like, I'm done. I'm over it. It was a long flight. We were delayed. Um, the airport was crazy. There were all these ATC issues and flights were delayed. It was just chaos. So I'm very glad that we are here. Let's get out of bed because I have something to show you. It is, are you ready for this? <laughs> Seattle, well not exactly Seattle, it's Bellevue, but welcome. Okay, the lighting is much better here. I'm going to get ready and go for a beautiful run. It is, guess the temperature, 56 degrees. I've been spending my life in 100 plus degree temperatures. I was in Las Cruces, New Mexico just the other day. New York is also warmer than here. And now I'm in this cool place. I'm so grateful. Oh, I love this area so much. The Pacific Northwest is just so beautiful. Take a look, you can see Microsoft's headquarters. I think that's their headquarters here in Bellevue. There's um, the Puget Sound energy. There's so much out here. I want to do four miles. I think that would be nice. Four miles, let's do it. <laughs> human so please just pray for me hey lobby <laughs> <laughs> So if you follow my videos you know oh my god I did bring it I was gonna say you know I use Celestial from Lush. Really good calm face cream. So I'm also was gonna put on sunscreen but I'm like I'm not gonna do that anymore because it's so gray outside it is one of those Seattle-like days here in Seattle. I feel all ready to go. Take a look at the fit. Uh, the only problem is I didn't realize I did not bring my sneakers, so I have to wear Converse's to run in, and you're not supposed to run in Converse's, so we will see how this one goes. So I changed <laughs> after going out into the hallway. It's freezing out there, so I just changed into this shirt that's a little bit, has long sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> so now the fit kind of matches even better, but okay. Cool. Let's go. I miss it here so much. I can just tell because I, I was here in 2019 and I drove, so I got to see a lot. I was so embarrassed to stretch there, so I'm just gonna stretch here. It's so pretty here. Oh my gosh. I think this is what you're supposed to do before you run. I've never stretched before, but I feel like I should start doing it. Oh god, that feels really good. I love this part of the country so much. It's so grateful to be here. All right, let's run. good honestly. Okay, so it's congrats class of 2022. Congrats, that's so cute.
my legs feeling really chill. But I'm back at the hotel, so I gotta stop. funny from being in the desert a lot I love this climate it's incredible to be able to just I don't know it's just a nice like you can really breathe I'm a stat who's in the 70s we gotta get cooler immediately the desert is nice it's quiet this you can just the air is just so moist and fresh it's not humid well it is humidity but it's not hot so it feels nice and you have the mist from the Seattle rain that it is, which feels incredible on you as you run. Lay my clothes out. Um, pretty sure I'm just wearing this hoodie and some jeans. So this will be nice. This is the first time I haven't needed shorts. Yeah, this is gonna be the fit. So it's this, these socks match <laughs> the hoodie. This is my hack for ironing. It's just downy wrinkle releaser. When you're traveling, your clothes are gonna get wrinkled. I don't know, I haven't been able to figure out how to not get your clothes wrinkled in the suitcase, so I just spray this. The mini ones are harder than the big one. Like, the big one at home will get the wrinkles out ASAP, but you really have to use a lot of the mini one, of the small one, because it's just not a big enough nozzle. I can't even show you. You'd literally just stretch it out. The plan was to get like an acai bowl. But I am so hungry from that run. I don't, I've see, I feel like that happens once you go on like a five, six mile run. Your stomach, you need something substantial. So I'm gonna get the smoothie. I need some immunity. I travel a lot. I always need that. But I'm gonna, I was gonna get like an acai bowl with just fruit. And I want fruit. But I need, I need, a, I need something like. <laughs> I literally have to run, but here's the fit. Came out, it's still a little bit wrinkled, but not bad. Let go. I'm going to the pancake place. <laughs> so I'm at the bus stop. You can see it right there. Just chilling out. Um, it's so cold here. <laughs> when you're not running, I didn't realize. I could totally be wearing a jacket right now. I did not realize how cold it would be here. Um, this is, it's chilly. Okay, just got off the bus. <laughs> Bye bus! It makes sense that it was so expensive because that bus goes all the way into Seattle. So for $3.25 you can get from Bellevue to Seattle. And the two are not close. This is where I was running past, oh my gosh. And here's the pancake place that smells so good. It better be open. How are you doing? Hi, good, how are you? Are you good, just one? Yeah. Leaving pancake corral filled with not only like my hunger being filled, but they were so loving in there. I got to talk to this guy who goes there all the time and he's like, yeah, they know my order here. They know what I get. And he's like, work is so stressful. It seemed like his, almost like his decompression place and work was bothering him. So grateful that I got to experience that. I got to talk with one of the waiters who like, he goes, he was at UW and he um, is trying to become a therapist. And I'm like, I'm super into mental health. Like, let's stay in touch. So we're gonna stay in touch. Like. That's so cool. I feel like this is the most genuine Seattle layover that could have ever happened. I'm so grateful that Seattle is being Seattle today. Take a look. Um, it's just raining everywhere. <laughs> 
There's a Starbucks ahead. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I have always wanted to go to Amazon Fresh. I've always wanted to do the thing where you go shopping and you don't go to a checkout line and the place just knows what you pay for and sends you a receipt. We don't have one in New York. That's an Amazon Fresh, like the whole supermarket. We just have the little Amazon Go stores. So I really wanted the whole supermarket. I have a little bit of shopping to do. So I'm gonna do that and then we are going to get everything. I'm gonna bring it back on the bus, <laughs> the sound transit that I took here from Bellevue and go back to the hotel. And also just looking around, it looks like Seattle's still got some healing to do um, from 2020. So if you remember, Seattle was one of the places, Portland, uh, that were really, really impacted. And um, you can see some of that still. to standard goods. Got the Seattle Magnet and the BLM Pen. They have a really great store. Got to check it out. store. <laughs> it was a little complicated, but I got through on the second try, and it feels like a mix of Whole Foods, like a convenient, like Whole Foods, but with a convenience store, like CVS and Whole Foods if they got married. That's what it feels like. Found some pre-made meals. I love buying things like this, so I'm excited to get some. Uh, they have mashed potatoes. Ooh, with butter too. Gosh, wow. I might get that. Because this is perfect for me since I'm always traveling. There's stuff that I can take. Let's see, there's spicy plant-based meatballs. I was going to say this is a huge letdown, but they have redeemed themselves. I found fruit, and it looks like there is a whole area filled with bacon over there. Because I was looking in the meat area and it had sausages, and I was like, how do they not have bacon? Like, this isn't a real grocery store. And I think there is. Also, I was wondering, how do they know... You know what I mean? How do they know that I'm picking things up and putting them in my cart? And I looked at the ceiling and look at all those cameras. There's like a million cameras that I guess are tracking everything that you pick up. I'm gonna get these bell peppers. Like, I'm sorry, but this looks awful. Like, I don't know that I trust this place to be my grocery store. Like, this looks good, oh, but in the back, yeah, it looks good. It's just, that doesn't look good. It's so funny, I am just bagging my stuff <laughs> in the middle of the aisle because you just walk out. There's, there's nothing to do. After you've purchased everything, it's done. I hope it knows I'm putting it back. It had it in my cart for a really long time. It was... <laughs> okay, putting it back. There, poop. There's Pike Place Market. I don't know if you can see them. I don't think I'm gonna go, but wow. Of course the bus is in the way, but there it is. That's it. I have to go on my next time. I changed. I'm going downstairs to meet a friend. I am all packed and I am ready to go. Um, yeah, it's time. It's definitely time to go. I just made it back home to New York. I know the ending there was a little bit odd. Uh, I met with a friend, it was so nice. And then um, it was just so good to see him. He drove me to the airport, which was so appreciated. 
and um, it was just nice to get to spend um, a little bit of time with someone that I haven't seen since 2019. I want to show you all what I got for my Amazon Fresh haul. It was a very small Amazon Fresh. The next time I'm in Seattle or in another state with the location, I will definitely go back and I'm going to go to a big one and we're going to get everything grocery because um, this one felt very, like I said, a convenience store mixed in with Whole Foods. So I got this clam chowder, um, which I love clam chowder. It's the New England one. So this should be really good. I also got uh, baked scalloped potatoes. I also got, this is what I'm really interested in. I'm gonna have this tonight as I prepare for my trip to Dallas um, and bring them on the plane with me, but it's gonna be spicy plant-based meatballs. And this comes with a Mediterranean style eggplant sauce. So I think it's gonna be really good. The fact that they're spicy and plant-based, I'm down to try it. I've been trying, wanting to get more ways of being uh, less um, meat heavy. I got blueberries, I got blackberries. I got these diced bell peppers, so that's really nice. I love putting these on salads, which is good and easy. The receipt, it comes to your email, it comes to your Amazon account, and it will charge you for everything. So it was like nine items, it said $40, and then that was it. I think it was a little pricey, but it also feels like for what I got, like I got a lot of stuff, food, so. All right, um, thank you <laughs> for watching this video. I so appreciate you being here and I really would love to hear from you in the comments. So please take a moment to say hello. Thank you again for watching this video. Thank you for spending my Seattle trip with me and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Later. And it is raining, like it is really raining and I didn't bring an umbrella because Seattleites don't use umbrellas, but look.